Hi, I'm Sarah from Your Coming. Such a pleasure to be able to speak to both of you today. Um, maybe just kick off with a brief introduction to this incredible film, On a Wing and a Prayer. What can audiences expect when they watch it? Well, it's um, a seat of your pants thriller story about a family that took a ride on a small plane and the pilot dies in when they're in the air and they have to figure out how to land the plane without killing themselves. <laughs> <laughs> but but it ends positively. You know, it's a it's a harrowing story. It, it is sort of an edge of your seat thriller. Um, I hope it doesn't give people, you know, a, a phobia of flying. Uh, but in the end, you know, there's a, a very hopeful, positive ending. Absolutely. And, and of course, it's a true life story. One of those, it's almost stranger than fiction. Um, but it really has a feel of kind of a high stakes action thriller as well. Um, you know, so what was what made you want to jump on board with it? And what kind of preparation did you have to do? Did you get a chance to meet the real life people? Did you have to go and do a lot of research? You know, what was the appeal and what was the prep like? I, I really loved the script. I just thought it was a really solid script. I loved the uh, emotional arc of the character that I play, Carrie Sorensen, who's an expert in the particular plane that Doug White has to land in order to save his family. Uh, and he is the reluctant hero of the film and is able to, to talk Doug down and, and, and tell him how to land this plane. And I mean, it's just, a, it's a miraculous story. I mean, I, Carrie was quoted as saying that he thought they had less than a 5% chance of being able to land the plane and survive. So, I mean, the fact that they, everybody kind of came together to pull off this miracle is pretty unbelievable. Yeah, and I guess I, I like the idea that it's a true story and just it's sort of a metaphor for when you're going through something in life and it just seems unsurmountable and you feel like you have no hope that sometimes there is hope, you know, just an inspiring message of hope. And I did get to speak to Terry White. She is very cool. She was super sweet. I, I spoke to her. And some of the things she said, I, I asked if we could put in the film, like she had this quote where she, where she said, the angels were holding up the wings. And I thought that was so beautiful. She's a very, you know, spiritual person. And of course, you're not really together on set as because everything's happening in different places. Um, but did you have a standout moment? I mean, for you, Heather, being in that cockpit of, of the King Air 200, and, and, but then for you, Jesse, you know, having to kind of do the, this kind of mock-up of, of the cockpit and, and really have that emotion and tension there, even though you're far away from the action. So a highlight for each of you? Well, we, I mean, we both got the opportunity to play opposite great actors. You know, I, I, I played opposite this uh, woman named Anna uh, Anger Rich, uh, who was a godsend to me because I had to spit out all this aviation jargon and she was like running lines, you know, between scenes with me and just like, I mean, she really helped me tremendously and she was a great actor, you know, and my, and my character's storyline was about saving this failing relationship that he was in due to, you know, the trauma from his past that he hadn't really processed and through being a part of this you know, harrowing situation, he was able to, you know, heal from, you know, his past traumas. So, I, you know, I, I, I thought, uh, you know, I, it, it was a very full kind of character arc for me, you know, and I, and I got to work with a great actor, although I didn't get to work with, with Heather and Dennis at all. <laughs> <laughs> and for you, Heather, being opposite Dennis or next to Dennis in that cockpit. Well, it's fun because, you know, I'm, I'm a fan of his work growing up, I would look at him as such a successful, cute actor. And we worked together once before, and I guess he requested to work with me again. So I felt excited about that. Um, but yeah, we're just in a plane looking at like nothing, basically. It's like a green wall. And we're just picturing all these things happening. And the director would come in and be like, you're about to die, you know? And then you're just like, you have to get yourself really stressed out. And I loved this quote that I read in the notes about, you know, seeing these situations almost as like a gift of desperation. And, and, and I think that's a great kind of idea for the times we're in. So this is a specific story, but there's a universal theme there. That even when we're faced with kind of what seems insurmountable kind of conditions to survive in, actually can come out the other end in, in a more positive way. So do you think that's kind of takeaway from the film? Yeah, I think it's a message of hope that people want to help each other, like how Carrie Sorensen's character really helps this family he doesn't even know. It's just like this goodwill that people want to, you know, help each other. Absolutely. I'm out of time. But thank you so much for sharing all that with me. And uh, I can't wait for everyone else to see it on A Wing and a Prayer. Thanks a lot. Thank, thank you so you. much.